since since March uh, 2020, we we were hit by by the COVID pandemic, and uh, you know we were, we've been closed for for quite a lot of months. Um, last Christmas we were closed uh, completely, and if you add to that um, rising in social insurance, rising electricity, rise in in supplies in supplies, um, all this compounded with basically the the latest. Uh, you know, Omicron variant, um, which has damaged our Christmas forecast. So there you go. <laughs> what sort of effects have these had on the GCA's members? Well, since since the since the government announced uh, on the PR, um, you know, to be cautious and and to avoid gatherings, um, we 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 noticed uh, you know a tsunami of, of Christmas cancellations straight after. So what we've noticed is that basically large Christmas bookings. Have been completely have been cancelled, so we are 50 percent down in bookings this year too, compared to any normal year. You mentioned public health advice on Christmas parties and gatherings, but given the rise in cases and concern mm. over the transmissibility of the Omicron variant, isn't advising caution a necessary thing to do to prevent further harm in future? I com we completely understand uh, public health. We completely understand that um, you know that the, the population's health is is utmost. But what I'm just stating is, is, a, is, is a fact that um, I, as an association, my role is to listen, listen to our members. And this is the feedback that we've, that we've received, basically, that the, you know, um, we, basically the Christmas uh, period is not as fruitful as, it, as, as, it, as we all forecast it, it to be. So. Public health advice on gatherings has centred on measures including ventilation, social distancing, mitigating numbers, even as the government suggested back in the summer, asking customers for proof of vaccination. Have your members been mitigating risks in bars and restaurants, despite the lack of legal restrictions requiring this? Well, we've all got the, the measures in place uh, that public health has advised. Um, we work closely with the environmental agency also. Um, so, you know, we, we, we follow all, all the measures that have been in, imposed on us, yeah. You say the industry is in trouble and that you'd like to reach out to the government for support. What measures are you looking for? What support does the industry need? We need to have a closer relationship with, 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 with government. Um, the situation has been, going, has been going on, as I said, from since March 2020. There's only a limited amount of cash reserves that businesses have. And sooner or later, if we continue in this direction that we are, um, you know, we, we will see casualties. That's, that, that is the situation we're at at the moment. So as a first step, you're looking to establish dialogue with the government? Um, correct, correct. At least we would like to be aware of any measures um, that they're thinking of imposing. We understand that this is, this is, uh, the situation is, is very dynamic. It's moving and it's on a daily basis. But we would not like to be thrown any other curveballs at this stage.